choked to death on three pounds of steel. I'm watching you. Passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot the game. They're really off their heads these days. Happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Fuck. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. So long. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. And who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? 
He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a Witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity, stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Where are you going to take her? Tomorrow must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. worth even less thank you witcher where would i be without you your guards run off louts didn't get the chance thank the gods it's them you cut down waited until we passed the last settlement then attacked and to think i made sure the scoundrels were well armed we stood no chance against them why'd you come all the way to velen not many to sell to around here there's the baron Perhaps you've heard of him. Worth the journey just to sell to him. We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. That's the upside. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours.
matter where the drugs from, as long as the bowl. Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. That's enough of that. Not bad. Might be champion yet. You've still Jonah to be. Best of luck. Can we talk? Hi. As long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. As long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you going to race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Let's see how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. Spent half my life on horseback. Other half on the backs of ponies. You can't beat me. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Good day, grey one. So, who are you going to race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll see. I, 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 I'll, 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 Ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Mount up. Move it. Ow! 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 Ow!
Nice, nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Good day, Grey One. <coughs> so, who are you going to race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Right against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, all right. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Nice, nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. You threw it away? Oh, God, so I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Take pity on an old woman. Thunders turn this one. Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, her kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood. Just not my specialty. Fighting evil, that's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods will guide ye. Turn this one pale. Slower. You the ones destroying shrines all over Velen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? 
We are the Heralds of Lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the Lightning's name shall be Overman. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath? The wrath of the gods? The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting bored. Leave, and don't come back. A what? Or I'll tell on you to the headmistress. Repression! Attack the system's lackey! Displayed in the center of the city. Yeah. Well, it could be my profit. Let's go. Top of the day. Will you join the tournament? Eh? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? What are the rules? We mostly use fists, but no one looks askance at a straight kick to the stones. Defeat Jonah, then Smithy, and stand fist gulper, and you learn the right to face the sergeants. Velen's champion. All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter. Defeated Jonah! Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? If you want to be champion, go to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. Or try your strength in Novigrad. The fight there too. Same in Skelliger. Hair white as curd. Ah, curd. That would hit the spot. I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here! Let's start. Alright. Come to daddy! Let's end this. <laughs> what a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the Sergeant and become champion of all Velen. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. Shmarry. I want to plow some peasant lass, I will. Don't give cock about no bad. How can I help you? Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skelliger? Ard Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. 
Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day, taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more, sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. What are you selling? What's good? 